Hello friends, I am Manjot from Lens Fashion Photography. Come again with Photoshop tutorial. Today we will talk about the colors. I recommend it strongly. Don't skip this video. It has three parts and every part will help you in future either you are photographer or designer. First come to the theory of colors. As a photographer, we have a lot of tools available to us. Compositional rules, lighting knowledge, the exposure triangle and so on. Color is a just another one of those tools while it can be intermediating element to photographer. A German theorist named Eaton developed the color wheel that we know today. It was based on the yellow, red and blue primaries. The fundamental color wheel. It is a natural thing of primary, secondary and territory colors when it comes to color theory. Let's watch with the photographically color wheel chart. First come to the primary colors. A true primary color is a color that is not made up of any other colors that its own. Most of us probably learned the primary colors are red, green and blue in the school. RGB is also known as a digital primaries which are used for displaying images in electronic devices. When we work for the print output, we use cyan, magenta and yellow as the ink primaries. The secondary colors in YRB system is created by mixing two primaries. Orange is equal to yellow plus red, violent is equal to red plus blue and green is equal to blue plus yellow. The territory colors in the YRB system is created by mixing primary and secondary colors. The colors are called by naming the primary first followed by the secondary yellow orange, red orange, red violent, blue violent, blue green and yellow green. Let's watch how do the orders of color help a photographer. Well by knowing the three orders we can make decision about which colors we want to show in the frame. In this video, you will see how to effectively make those decisions to achieve the final look you are aiming for the three variables of colors. Those who have post-processed image in Adobe Lightroom, Apple Photos, Capture One or any other RAW editor may be familiar with what is a commonly known as a HSL. HSL meaning Hue, Saturation and Luminosity. Hue simply is the shade or name of the color. In our editing program, the slider allows us to completely change a color. Saturation is the amount of color or its intensity. Watch what happens when I move each color's individual saturation slider. Luminous is the brightness of the color. This helps us bring out bright color, recover skin tones and many other techniques. Now watch how can we use this color in Photoshop CC. About foreground and background colors, Photoshop uses the foreground color to paint fill and stroke selections and background color to make the gradient fills and fill in the erased areas of an image. The foreground and background colors are also used by some special effects filters. You can designate a new foreground or background color using the eyedropper tool, the color panel, the swatches panel or the adobe color picker. The default foreground color is black and the default background color is white. Choose color with the eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool samples color to designate a new foreground or background color you can sample from the active image or from anywhere else on the screen. Select the eyedropper tool in option bar. Change the sample size of the eyedropper by choosing an option from the sample size menu. Point sample, 3x3 average, 5x5 average, 11x11 average, 31x31 average, 51x51 average or 101x100 average. Choose one of the options from the sample menu, all layers or current layers. To circle the eyedropper tool with a ring that previews the sample color above the current foreground color, select show sampling ring. To select a new foreground color, click in the image alternatively positioned to the pointer over the image, press the mouse button and drag anywhere on the screen. The foreground color selection box changes dynamically as you drag. Release the mouse button to pick the new color. To select a new background color, by Alter plus click in Windows or Option plus click in the Mac in the image. Alternatively, position the pointer over the image, press Alter in Windows or Option in the Mac, press the mouse button and drag anywhere on the screen. The background color selection box changes dynamically as you drag. Release the mouse button to pick a new color. Select the colors in the Swatches panel. So go to the Windows menu and then choose Swatches. The Swatches panel stores colors that you use often displays a default set of a Swatches 
that you can work with. You can add or delete colors from the panel or display different libraries of the colors for a different projects. To apply color swatch to the text layer or shape layer, then select one or more layers in the layers panel and then click any of the swatches in the swatches panel to apply it. Drag a swatch from the swatches panel onto the layers content on the canvas area. Drag a swatch from the swatches panel onto the layer into the layer panel. To apply color swatch to the pixel layer, drag, drag a swatch from the swatches panel onto the pixel layer in the layer panel. Photoshop automatically creates a fill layer on the top of the pixel layer. In swatches panel, you can see your recent colors you have used. As you pick a new color, it adds to the recent row. You can also save a new color into the, your library. See how you can save the new color with the unique name. You can use your reference colors anytime from the library panel or swatches panel. Color picker is a very important to understand either we pick color from the swatches panel or from the color panel. It is an important so I made this video on it. To understand more in depth, I am creating here a solid adjustment layer. Here you will see many values in the boxes. Here you can see HSV, RGB, LAB and CMYK. In HSV, hue is 0, saturation is 0 and brightness is 100%. This is a for white color. Here is a red is a 255, green is a two in 255 and blue is also in 255. Here is a lightness channel, A channel and B channel values. So like that, here is a shine is a 0, magenta is 0, yellow is 0 and black is also in yellow. The value is here is a web code, for the white it is a showing all codes in F. As I put value hash 4 times 0, double F, you can see it is a converted to the clean blue. You can see RGB value blue is only in 255 and green and red is in 0. As I insert here, hash double zero, double F, double zero, it converted to clean green. So green value is only in 255, red and blue are zero. Like that, I insert hash double F, four times zero, it converted to the clean red. And now red value is only in 255, but blue and green both are in zero. When we move this slider up or down, selected H means hue. The color will change as we move the slider and also changing the hue value 0 to 300 plus. So when we select the radio button S means saturation, it increases or decreases the color intensity. As I change radio button to B means brightness, it adjusting the brightness or darkness. So when we select sign color, then you can see the RGB value here is no red, it is in 0 and green is 255 and blue is in 255. So in when I use R button in RGB, it shows green and blue because sign present in the image and sign has no red. As I change a different color, not a clean color like a red, blue or green, it shows the color value of a selected color. Like in this color, R is equal to 133, G is equal to 61 and B is equal to 72 because this color is a mixture of these values. Here you can see both previous colors selected and the new you are selecting. And you can also save a new color into the live. You can find more color shades in paint colors. I normally don't use them as a photographer. If someone known about these shades, they can use by clicking on the color libraries. Now you can fill your background or foreground of your image by pick the color from color panel or swatches panel. I pick the color from the panel, then go to the edit menu and fill. Select the option foreground, background or color or simply activate it by using shortcut shift plus F5. Select the option and fill the color or you also use ultra plus backspace in windows or option plus backspace in Mac.
Now that's all for the today. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. Thanks for watching.